ultimately, I I think uh, the the work that you are doing now in terms of the journey, your journey of going from the entertainment industry into real life and bringing the the abilities of um, creating what, what we're calling a civilization type one and kind of that bridge of stepping off yes. from a civilization type zero um, mm-hmm. is possible and is is doable and, and, and can be done. Julie, not Would only is it possible and doable, um, uh, once we set our minds to it, it can come real fast. Um, uh, when, when you look at um, uh, movements, uh, both positive and negative, uh, over the past century, um, it, it took decades for some movements to, to, uh, to effectuate themselves, right? Um, the neoconservative movement was born like in the 1960s. It attempted to assert itself in the 80s with Ronald Reagan and didn't get into the White House um, really until the Bush administration, right? That was, and that was backed by billions and billions of dollars. Um, whereas the, the Me Too movement which um, which asks us to radically change the way that we uh, uh, deal with women in the workplace. <laughs> um, uh, you know, this is within two years, two or three years, um, uh, uh, something that that is absolutely sweeping and has caused uh, uh, the wealthiest of men has given them pause uh, and, and so forth and, and altered the way that the workplace functions in many, many places, not in all, but in many, and, and will continue to spread around the world. Um, that's in, in just a few years because uh, uh, someone ideated it, a small group of people on, on the uh, social media uh, began spreading it and, and then it, it kind of caught fire through something I call superpositioning, the ability for us to fractally communicate our concerns uh, across different media platforms uh, 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 to the point where they gain exponential power. Uh, That is something imagined that manifested into real life in a very, very short time, which made the world a better place. Um, uh, So these things that that uh, the World Future Society is is standing for and and wants to have done, we're not that far off in terms of possibility and in terms of of the ability to implement uh, uh, these changes. Those those uh, projects I did with the population activation, entire countries were impacted, and those took six to eight months. <clears throat> You know, um, uh, thanks again to social media. It, it's it, 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 what you're talking about here uh, is possible. We can't get bogged down <laughs> um, in, in too much rhetoric and and uh, uh, you know splitting hairs and things like that. Um, uh, you know, we we have to move. Yeah, I, I love that because it's there's definitely this sense of urgency, and you're saying we have to move. And, uh, and to know and to be able to share with people that this isn't too far away and this, at, that this, you know, one of the common things people say is, well, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. So I'm, I'm going to just keep with the status quo or try to go back to the status quo. But actually, it can happen in everybody's lifetime. And Think of everything that's happened. happened in the past 20 years. It's, yeah. it's hyper normal <laughs> what's happened. <laughs> Any one of these insane things, um, uh, you know, you wouldn't think it would happen in a, a lifetime. Now there's, there's, you know, it doesn't stop. Uh, so it, it, is, it is more than possible. 